Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location in a very beautiful place. Wow, I have no idea where this is. Well, I can narrow it down to one part of the world, Europe. That's where I'm going to narrow it down to. Where in Europe is a gosh darn good question. One could say this is Ireland. For a few reasons. Uh, no, sorry, not Ireland. One because this is Scotland. I mean, it could be Ireland too. But, I mean, the houses look really new. They look a different style than I would expect them to. It's a bit, bit strange. Big mountains in the background make me feel like we're not actually in... Uh, that we're not actually in Scotland. Um, is this... Is it a bear or something? That'd be interesting. Uh, I don't think we're actually in Scotland. We could be in Norway. Definitely true, but I don't really know. Maybe we're in Iceland. That's definitely a possibility. Iceland is definitely up there on my list of places this could be. I really don't know. I'm thinking we're going to sort of zoom in. It's somewhere It's somewhere on the map like now or something along the lines. It's either like here. I don't know. I guess it really could be Ireland, but I don't think it is. I think it's either northern, the sort of... Maybe maybe not super northy, but Scotland, Iceland, or Norway. And I don't know which one. Based on, I mean, everyone loves a little green screen room here. I'm going to say that this is, oh, you know what? That, that kind of looks Scotland-y. Eh, I don't know. A lot of letters on this sign, whatever it is. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with Iceland. I know it's weird and I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to say we are on uh, Eastern uh, Iceland, sort of like, um, around over here, sure, why not, let's make the guess, uh, let's actually say we're in, uh, this place over here, let's make the guess, boom, oh, no, it was northern Scotland, oh, you did it to me, we were on, uh, north east, there you go, near, uh, near Barbancuda, no, near Ben Bakula, Bali, Venich, oh, well, it's too bad, I guessed Iceland, and it was, well, it's one of the places that I named, Northern Scotland, there you go, I got 2702 points, maybe some of you guys did better, hopefully, you did, alright, welcome back to today's daily challenge location, wow, look at this place, well, it doesn't seem that interesting, but as you're going to see in a few moments, it is a classic daily challenge location, and the reason for that is, uh, yeah, it's, it's a location that's right on the ocean, as many of our <laughs> daily challenges seem to be, now, uh, this one hopefully isn't an island, because if it's an island, that's, that's a bit annoying, we're always on a damn island, aren't we, I mean, I guess, if you think about it in some strange ways, everything is an island because there's water around it all. But uh, you know what? This could be uh, the coast of somewhere cool or it could be an island in the middle of nowhere or the middle of somewhere. I really hope it's not Hawaii because we seem to go there a, a, a bit. But I'm, I'm going to I'm going to I think I'm going to say it's it's not. Although, I mean, to be honest, look at this. Anyways, that doesn't matter uh, what I'm thinking this is. Hopefully you guys have some uh, good guesses as to where you think this this location is. I still have no idea, and in tomorrow's episode, I'm going to be making a guess as to where I think it is, and so you guys put uh, where you think we are in the world in the comment section down below. Tomorrow's episode, much like the section you just saw, I'm going to make a guess as to where I think this beautiful oceanside place is. If I am right, then, I mean, if I'm not going to be right. There's nothing happens if I'm right. But uh, regardless, I'll also put in the comment section of that video tomorrow, uh, whoever got to closest. So uh, put in your guesses. Where in the world do you think this really beautiful place is? Put your guesses down right now. All right, here we are in today's regular section of the episode. Going to be doing a world challenge three minutes on the clock just like this and obviously this is a let's play so you know there you go start new of course uh that's what we want and here we are oh wow look at this get our famed bus shelters over here of uh that we can find in um what is most likely somewhere in the former soviet union where that's a good question i don't know 
Uh, it could also not be that, but I think we're somewhere there. Very colorful fences here. Uh, that's that's fun. It's fun. It's fun to see uh, stuff like that. I mean, these these people over here, they got a nice sense of humor, like a little pink house and stuff like that. This tree's kind of fucked up, but that's okay. Um, you know, sometimes you got to watch out for. No, there's no power cables. Well, I don't know why that tree got cut, but it, it did. Maybe there was a, a big uh, bolt of thunder, lightning. Wow, look at that! Everyone's got little fun gardens. Holy crap! What the hell's going on with this? There is like a there is a giant. Oh my god! There's a bird up there. Holy shit! Look at that! It's it's there. <laughs> oh man, that's a great. Jesus, look at this thing. Look what it's done. It's made a huge nest. Holy crap. And the bird is there too, which is the best part. I would have speculated that as being some kind of bird's nest, but this giant, what is that, like a crane or a heron or something? Hell, I don't know. Um, okay, the satellite dish. You gonna tell me anything? Nope, it doesn't say direct TV. Can't say I'm surprised. But uh, this bird. Oh, look at that. There's like a tree with stuff on it. Usually you put that on the uh, poles, but that's okay. This bird, I mean, this bird's got ownership of it, so. I mean, shit, yeah, there you go. That's that's wild. That's really, that's like the best thing I've seen today. And this guy, he's walking, uh, walking away. All right, what does this say? Oh, okay, good. So we've got, um, we've got, oh, okay. I don't really know what to make of that. Is that, is that Cyrillic? Um, I don't know. It could be, but I don't see any of the special characters. All I see is just uh, just letters. I mean, we could be in Poland, actually. And, uh, so that's that's a possibility. We could be in Poland. All right, let's go find out. What, is, what does stuff look like? Um, let's see. Poland. Oh, okay. Zoko. Okay, so we are in... Maybe we're not in the former Soviet Union. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're in... Um, I don't know. Uh, Czech Republic? Che I'm getting a sort of a Czech Republic type feel. Maybe Poland would make sense to me. We could also be in, we could also be in Hungary. Oh yeah, Hungary. Hungary sounds all right. But you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling Poland a little bit more, uh, than that. So, oh, 23 seconds on the clock. I forgot this was a time challenge for whatever reason. Uh, let's go, let's go with, uh, let's go with Southern Poland. Um, it could be Hungary, probably around this lake, but that's where I'm going to guess. Boom. Um, we were, oh, yeah, we were in, uh, we were indeed in southern Poland. Uh, that's right. We're closer over here to uh, the Ukraine, uh, which, there you go. But uh, we were over here. Oh, there you go. We, we saw Zukow. Wow. And, and th where the bird lives, like right over here. 4,530 points is pretty good. Oh, wow. There we got a desert over here. And uh, there's a wind blowing. Well, we're either in America or Australia. It's pretty much uh, pretty much standard fare when you see a blurry picture like this. Where are we? Uh, looks more like America to me. Uh, yeah, this looks more like uh, America, if I had to guess. The United States of America, to be more precise to uh, everyone out there. Hmm. Now, we are most likely in uh, the, the southern Midwest, uh, if I had to guess. Uh, so like I'm gonna go with a um, I'm gonna go with a oh god I don't really want to go south I don't want to go Oklahoma yeah maybe in Oklahoma yeah this could be Oklahoma if, if I had to take a wild stab at this but you know we could also be in like South Dakota or North Dakota it, it's very dry but it's very dry everywhere um, hmm I don't know about Oklahoma it's it's hard for me to t for it's hard for me to to tell where we are considering. Uh, I have I have absolutely no idea, but oh geez, look at that. Okay, well this is a little bit better. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, North Dakota is where we are. Ah, interesting. Here's an N and a D, and we've got um, we've got the silhouette of a uh, an American Indian chief uh, there, uh, which is which is pretty cool on West 200. So North Dakota it is. Um, you know, there you go. At least I kind of mentioned. I might have mentioned South Dakota, but you know what? North Dakota is you know it, it's it's right there. It's very close. Uh, we're on uh, Route 200, which is mm, it's very long. Uh, we are going. Wh which way are we going? West and east. East and west. Well, yeah, that 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 pretty much covers it. And what was the road that we were just on? It was the intersection of uh, of that. And oh, there's another. There's more more 200. Okay. It looks like it sort of dips down. 
uh, at some point. So that's actually a pretty big clue for me because I think it kind of feeling and where in the world we are. What does this sign say? Stanton, Washburg, and Grand Dam. Oh, Grand Dam to you. Um, okay, where? Hold on. Uh, we were like over here somewhere. No. Okay, there's the there's two hundred, and okay, it's two hundred over here, two hundred over there, and then two hundred is there. So we got Carrington stuff like that. Uh, I don't, I have no idea. Uh, Carrington, that's not even really on there, is it? Uh, it sure isn't. Okay, two hundred more, two hundred. Um, do we have like a Grand Dan? I'm gonna say that um, we just witnessed M man, man. Uh, okay, right over here, uh, Paul's Road, okay, Walker Bay, sure, I'm gonna have to click right here, and just, uh, place that down there, unfortunately, oh, I crossed state lines, what a fucking idiot, uh, I didn't even notice that I did that, well, you know what, whatever, 3,600 points, should have just placed it down, uh, but I accidentally crossed state lines while looking for it, what a ding dong, well, you know what, that's, that's just the way it is, well, we're gonna play the next round, Ah, yes. Okay, so this is, um, what do we got? We got Vassal and, R and Malax. Vassa and Ralax. Okay, we are in, um, we're in Scandinavia somewhere. Maybe, oh boy, it's a little bit harder to tell right now, but that's okay. I'm still kind of thinking that's it. Um, Norway? Norway? I think I'm thinking I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with uh, with a th oh my god I oh we can't go forward okay fine going this way then uh, excuse me I'd like to continue okay so Scandinavia maybe Norway somewhere would be nice um what does this sign say uh we've got um course back petalax wow that's those are some some interesting words there I, I don't I don't really know. Uh, that that those are those those I don't know. Some something strange about about those names. I can't really I can't really. Um, Narpse corn says okay. Uh, Strand wagon. Wow. I don't know. I have no idea how to uh, how to really tell that. Uh, hmm. I feel like maybe we aren't in 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 Scandinavia at all. That's a possibility to be to be quite frank. Um, but I'm still, I'm still going to say Norway, most likely. I, I don't, you know, it's just, it's just the way it's going to be, isn't it? Uh, what do you, what is, what does this thing say? Does it say anything? Um, Dermo Shop. God, I don't know. That doesn't sound Norwegian to me, but it's, it's possible. So it's, we're not, in, there's no EU plates that I can see, which is why Norway, um, is really coming to mind. You know, it's not part of the European Union. Uh, but I do believe European cars can just kind of travel there all they want. You know, it's kind of like uh, Switzerland in that regard. Can they do that in Switzerland? I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm fairly certain they can do that in Norway. Um, okay. Uh, what have we got there? We, we, we've got... Uh, well, I, did I say European cars? Or really even more like European people. Like people that are in uh, the EU can travel you know, there's a, there's some sort of name. It's like a something zone. Not really sure what it is, but there you go. You don't, you know, there's no like, um, no like border checkpoints, right? There you go. Well, you know, little red houses, white accents. This seems, this seems quite Norwegian to me. Uh, we're going to go with Norway on this one where, uh, I don't know, like the, it was not really, it's not really mountainy over here. So let's go like, uh, like uh, over here near uh not 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 lillehammer because that's like the 94 olympics let's go like right over here make the guess and um oh wow we were actually in finland oh wow that was um very surprising for several reasons because there were no eu plates and there should be and uh, we didn't see any of the traditional uh finnish double vowels that uh, we often see like we can see in these names right here but you know what there you go finish is something that i still have a hard time grasping what it looks like uh and uh, clearly i don't really i don't really know so there you go 35 56 points all right next up is going to be uh, a beautiful foresty type scene um again in the same area of the world uh well if road markings are anything to go with this time we're in Finland yet again, and um, 
this sign over here makes me think we are in in northern uh in northern finland uh because if we're in finland now i know i don't actually know if we are and, and let me let me just go take it take a look at this so we're, um, i mean maybe um but but the idea is i think there's like uh i mean i think there's like two but there's another language that that that's spoken in really northerny parts of, of, of Finland and, and maybe Norway and Sweden too, uh, and you and there are sometimes these uh, these signs that have uh, both the languages on them. Uh, you don't really see that in the south. I think you know it's just the, the regular the regular Finnish. But I think in the north it, it sometimes happens. It's kind of like um, you know you see that in the UK and sort of areas that are like. You know, I think you see that in like Northern Ireland, and you see that in uh, in Wales. You see some strange, well, not strange. You see uh, different, you know, another another language. I guess Welsh is that that's the name of that, that language, sure. Or like traditional, what would, what would Ireland be like Gaelic or something? Is that what you'd be seeing? God, I, I don't actually know. Uh, but there you go. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm I don't I don't know too much about this, and you know perhaps that sign is just you know it's a very long name. It, it, the name it could just be a very long name in Finnish, or you know we could not be in Finland, and that would just pretty much be that, wouldn't it? Um, but this time you know it's it's time for redemption here. It's time to uh, it's time to redeem ourselves of of our of our previous failings and uh, try and make an appropriate guess as to where we are. Um, yeah, I mean this looks like Finland, so I'm gonna go with yeah we're we're there we're in northern Finland too. So let's go how north? I don't know right here. Oh, that's not even Finland. Oh, it is. Okay, good. For a second, for a second I got confused. Sorry. Uh, don't 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 hate me for that. Let's just make the guess. No, southern as southern as we could possibly get in Finland. I got the Finland part right, but that's you know just disregard everything I've just said. We were in southern Finland. I'm just a fool. So they got me fuck come on. It's like as southern as it could get, really. But there you go. Two thousand eight hundred and fifty two points. God. Jeez Louise. Okay, so now we've got uh some sort of tropical uh area. This is pretty cool. What does this say? Avocado Drive. Well shit, I like that. Um there you go, Avocado Drive. That's a great that's just great. First sale, fifteen acres. 941 okay well there you go uh 941 it's a good area code do i know where it's from absolutely not we got some cars i believe we're in america uh are we yeah i mean look at this come on this, this person is not going to be in america where are we growing avocados that's the real question here growing them in florida maybe maybe florida i don't know it's hard to tell uh, from this is just staring at someone's blurry license plate. Speed limit forty. Yeah, we're in. I mean, I guess Florida. I mean, avocados. Do we grow them in Florida, Southern California? Maybe Mexico. Probably, I would go with Mexico to be honest. But uh, so maybe we're in. Nah, the Texas Mexico part is like a deserty mountain type thing, isn't it? Um. Okay, it's a winery, Southern California. Yeah, I mean, come on, Florida's not really known for its wine now, is it? So we're going with Southern California, I guess. Uh, you know, that kind of makes sense. Southern California to look like this. I mean, there's a winery, right? Little palmy trees, a, a cooler. Nice, that's always good. Uh, watering stuff. Yeah, okay. Southern California, that sounds good. Can we see an area code? I mean, a po uh, not a, a zip code. Oh, Coco Loco. Well, that's interesting. Um, can we see a zip code somewhere? That could help me. Uh, you know, famously, California zip codes start with a nine. And, uh, there you go. But, okay, I can't, I can't see what any of that stuff is. Uh, maybe that even said Florida on that sign. But, hey, did, did, did I see it? Did, 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 did I see it? No, I didn't. A smart car. Oh, there you go. That's got to be California right there. I mean, come on. If, if it's, we're not, okay. Savannah. Okay, well that's that doesn't really help me too much. Uh, what about this? Attention, gated community, don't come in here. Well, there you go. So let's uh, let's keep moving and see if we can spot anything else. We've got, well, okay, they're growing something there. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, what else? Oh, look at this. Oh, what a specimen! A beautiful Pontiac Aztec. Uh, everyone, you know, everyone's favorite vehicle right there. 
So, um, yeah, Southern California, I guess, sounds about right. Maybe we could be in, no, I was going to say New Mexico, but I kind of forgot about the existence of Arizona here. So, um, sure, we're going to say we're near uh, Brawley. Yeah, beautiful, near Brawley. Near Brawley, California. Oh, make the guess. Oh, lordy. No, we were in Florida. You know, I mentioned it, but kind of figured we weren't. We were. That's only 517 points. This is very far away. Uh, what a... Oh, how sad is that, eh? Oh, that's really too bad. I was... Well, you know, there you go. There's there's some uh, red wine wineries. Oh, that's, that's too bad. What a sad thing. We're in Florida. There's Avocado Drive. Well, you know what? That's just the way it is. Let's view the summary. Well done. Yep. Yeah, okay, thank you. All right. So where did we start off? We started in uh, North Dakota. Sure, we started in North Dakota. I accidentally went into Minnesota, but that I, I knew it was North Dakota. I just crossed the border uh, while I was doing that. Poland, at least that was a really nice close guess. Uh, we were in uh, Sweden, Norway. We were in Finland. I guess northern Finland. We were in southern Finland. And then I guess California. We were in Florida. Well, there you go. I'm going to make sure I copy this thing so we can actually do the challenge but there it is look down in the description below to see a challenge oh and if you guys made it this far uh send me uh some new uh some new viewer challenges i would love to do them uh because i'm uh, running a little bit short on them so uh send send some in if you want to see your challenges uh get done on the show remember go to geosetter.com and make those challenges for me love doing them oh yeah cue the royalty free music Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.